it's a really long walk and we are walking for like five minutes from the main gate yeah so if you don't have a pass you can't um, drive in we'd have to walk so yeah that's us walking the busy tama port As you can see beautiful majestic ships it's a very clear sunny day and a very busy day at the port as well i think we're almost there yay yeah and here we are we are the logos hope and check out the queue oh my gosh and the people Crazy. There's a lot of people. Everybody's waiting. Like, we're gonna get in at 1 1 pm. I mean, I'm excited, but oh my gosh, look at the queue. The number of kids. This is incredible. It's gonna have a very long way. So, that's the logo scope. And it's really exciting for me because my first time on this ship was probably like 30 years ago. Oh, I don't know, but I was about nine years old, ten years, and my dad brought me here. And I remember the day so vividly. I mean, we didn't have this much people turning up, yeah, but the experience was amazing. All the books I could dream of, the puzzles, the coloring books. I mean, I was in book heaven. So, this is a Logos Hope, it's a Christian floating bookshop and they moved from country to country I think the last time they were in Ghana was about six years ago and it's 2022 and they are here back here at the Tema Port and this is once in a lifetime experience you have to experience this you have to be patient and experience it so I hope you have the time to come through as you can see very eager book lovers uh, families are here guys so um word on the street is today they are starting at 12 it's at the one o'clock because the number of kids here yeah, just look behind me it's not a joke yeah it really tells you that a lot of families you know because it's the weekend most people have the time um to come here today so the weekend is always going to be like this. If you can come during the weekday, that's great. But the weekend is going to be very packed and it's going to be a long way. So be patient. Um, I'm being patient. I'm really hungry. I don't see any snacks around. So when you're coming, come with food. You're all right. That was a waste of my time. Um, so this organization of um, 30 people on local school really needs to, to be better. Um, honestly, we stood out for almost two hours and we're still in the back. So much chaos. People jumping the queue and pushing. Even kids shoving each other and the adults also doing the same. Charlie, um, I think the best time to visit the local school is like um, during the weekday. So we're gonna try this again because I really have to go there before they leave the country. So we're gonna try this again uh, either Monday or Tuesday. And I know by then most people will be at work and most of the kids will be at school. So we'll try this again. And then I'll do a fuller um, video on the experience. So it's day two. Oh, guys, so this is my second try um, of coming to the local school and the last time we were here the crowd was crazy people were crossing it was very chaotic so um i decided to come back today i picked this from school and um yeah we made it here it's almost 4 30 and there's quite a number of um kids here from school to obviously see the ship as well so we are hopeful we are going to be here before they actually close at six o'clock. <sighs> I just had to come today. Yeah, I got so much traffic. Wow. This is um, Thursday. Thursday the 17th. It's 4.30. And it's 
see, like I said, Singapore is a piece of crowd, but it's way better compared to when we're here on Saturday. So if you want to come here between um, maybe Thursday from no from tomorrow, Friday 18th, um, it should be a good idea. Don't come here on a Saturday. If you want to come here on a Saturday, get here as early as nine, maybe even earlier, because it's going to be really, really, really fast. So that's the local scope that we are all waiting to get on board to see and to buy some books. Hopefully there's still some left, but I'm sure there is a lot and lots more. So I'm really excited. I'm really excited to, to be here and looking forward to making it on board. Finally we are going in. So they let um individuals go in ahead of the long um, queue of students so the group students had to wait so individuals could go in since we weren't that many in number so this is exciting so excited so excited thank you god bless you you are beautiful and we are very happy because you came to visit us bye bye guys i guess i'm gonna go broke yeah she's gonna take all my money she wants everything the puppy the rabbits she wants it all so the reason why i'm so excited about lucas hope the last time i was here i was nine years and yeah i never forgot the experience so i just had to come so i'm excited I'm really really excited to be here because you know i get to share the experience with my daughter as well so i'm so excited just look behind me And it just goes. We made it out this has been worth the trip and i'm glad i came today but i felt it was a bit rushed um, for those of us who came around four so um if you come around four you know they're closing at six so you have like roughly an hour and a half to peruse lots and lots of books and i've really enjoyed my time here um ac was looking for toys but 
I know she's also enjoyed her time as well. So it's been really worth it. And if you want to come soon before they leave, which is on the 27th, this is the best time to come um, on a weekday, like I said. <laughs> and maybe come a bit earlier than um, the 4 p.m. Maybe 2 if you can. And come and enjoy. It's really worth it. The books are amazing. Endless books, adult coloring books. Yes. I really loved it I'm glad so the weather is looking a bit gray I think we should expect some rain it hasn't rained in a very long time so I'm looking forward to it yeah so this has been our day at the Logos Hope or our hour at the Logos Hope and I'm so excited I'm so happy and thrilled I came thank you guys for watching bye